Okay, the... What we're going to do here to determine the average velocity of the particle when the time is 8.7 seconds is to remember that average is equal to the change in position over the change in time. So the change in position is just going to be the position final minus position initial. The position final is the position at 8. Which is equal to 8.7 squared minus 6 times 8.7 plus 5. That comes out to be 28.49. position at time equals zero is equal to zero squared minus six times zero plus five, which is just equal to five. So we have our um, final minus our initial. So I'll put that over here. that it goes in this direction. So 2t equals 6, t equals 3. So the max is going to be at 3. So what, so use our position equation, s at 3 seconds 
is what distance are we going to have traveled at um, t equals 3. So 3 squared minus 6 times 3 plus 5, and that is 9 minus 18 plus 5, that equals negative 4. So we know from when we were looking um, at our previous problem that, um, let's see, s of 0 over here is equal to 5. So we know that at time equals zero, you know, um, when we start when we start the car, say this is our house right here. When we start the car to go to the first store, that we are already like five miles, five miles away from. Well, let's not call this the house. Let's call this work. So maybe the house. We'll call that um, our zero because our, our home base where we always count miles from we'll call that zero well we were at work which is already at five miles away from the house in this forward positive direction so we started at five and instead of going forwards it looks like we we didn't go in the positive direction we actually traveled in the negative direction so we traveled this distance, five, and then we went all the way to like a store that was in the negative direction from our home base, um, four miles. So that's four plus five. And then what we need to know next is what is the position at, um, at our time equaling 8.7 seconds, 8.7. We also found that in the, when we were solving the previous problem, that it equals 28.49 um, meters. So we now can say, okay, that's five right there. That's four. This is just the negative direction, but we're, what we're counting is how many meters that we have trapped that are. Our car, our car has driven down the road, and then we end up in a positive direction. After we go to this first store, we go to the second store. The second store is actually from our home base at zero. It's uh, 28.49 miles from our home base. So we start in the pos at positive five, five plus four plus four to get back to our, our zero mark plus 28.49. So that total distance equals five plus four plus four plus 28.49. And that equals 41.49. Take our total distance, 41.49, and we divide it by our total time, 8.7, and that comes out to be our average speed, 4.78 meters per second. So, let's see, two. speed was our total distance divided by our time interval.